Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Of course, as a parapsychologist, we could cite, uh, and I know you do cite, dozens and dozens of, of studies that show that there is, let's call it a veridical component, a verifiable, measurable component associated with many such experiences, like out-of-body experiences. Of course, and this is where subjectivity comes in. You and I would say that this is an event, but mainstream psychology would say, no, this is still regulated to experience, doesn't pass the muster for us to call it an event. Well, the important thing I would think, Stan, is that by uh, writing this book and making it so widely available as it is to the psychological community in the United States, you're creating permission for people at least to talk about these things that are otherwise taboo topics. Well, you're right. This has been one of my missions for most of my life, all of my scientific life, is to sort of liberate people from pathologizing their experiences and also to take these experiences and bring them into the rubric of psychology. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that any of these experiences can be studied scientifically. Maybe not completely like mystical experiences, but at least partially we can study mystical experiences from a psychological perspective. And so, as long as we can say this is grist for the psychological mill, this is something that we can measure, that we can observe, that we can understand to mm -hmm. some extent. And also, people no longer have to hide these experiences and say, oh, I don't dare tell people that I had that experience. People would think I was crazy. I remember years ago, I knew a young woman who regularly went out of her body and she didn't tell anybody and finally she started to tell her parents and they oh that's you know childish fantasy one night there was a fire down the road and her parents didn't want her to go to the fire because they thought it would be too scary an experience for her but she was a curious young woman and so she went out of the body to the fire and her parents came back from the fire and their daughter gave her a specific description of what was burned down, what fire trucks arrived, what the survivors had to say, and that everybody was say specific details. The parents were shocked and they said, don't you dare tell anybody about that again, they'll think you're crazy. Yeah, well, I'm sure you and I and probably everybody who's involved in the field of parapsychology has had this experience virtually every time we ever give a public talk. Somebody comes up and says, I want to share my experience with you. You know, I've never told anybody else before. Yes. Yes, that's very sad. I hear that time to time. I've never told anybody before. And there's probably good reasons.